Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Stack Apples Jack here, bring you another video. And today, as you can see, we're going to be talking about IQST or Crystal Incorporated. As you can see, down about 2.5% on the day. It currently has a market cap, a very small market cap of 74.6 million, with just 300 million authorized shares and 141.6 of those being outstanding. Now, the big thing to take here is that is not a ton of shares. 300 million might sound like a low, but for an OTC QX stock, not abnormal to have that many. A very, very small market cap of 74 million, which is incredible. Which, you know, you see some stocks, $250 million market caps, and they're only a couple of pennies. But this is a very strong focal point here. This could still run up loads and. They think so as well, and we're going to explain right away. So as you can see, they released a press release on December 6th. They're talking about they're preparing for NASDAQ uplisting. But as you can see, at the end of quarter three with only $111,000 last, that's the only really negative thing right now. They're looking to break even in the near future, as you can see. As you can see, they increased their revenue 4%, raising it from $60.5 million to 63 million after reaching 58 million year to date for the end of November. That is a load of revenue and they're increasing it literally by millions. They're currently working on their 2022 forecast. The preliminary forecast for 2022 is 80 million, including the pending acquisition of smart bids, which is a net income positive operation. You know, as you can see here, there's lots of big points here. I'm only picking out the main points. They also expect to add anticipated contributions from our ongoing M&A campaign to our overall 2022 forecasting exercise. So they'll add that in the future. But as you can see, this is just showing there's going to be more mergers and acquisitions. Look, ongoing M&A campaign. So that shows there is more acquisitions on the way, the mergers, which is great, great. It's always great to add revenue streams to your company. As you can see, another big point here, this release on November 18th, so a few weeks back, as you can see, the supporting their initial annual revenue, as you can see, that it moved up to 83, as we just read. They talk about here the acquisition of Smart Biz Telecom LLC, as we just mentioned there. But they're acquiring 51% controlling interest, and they only pay $1 million in restricted stock over a period of six months. Is expected to close in January 2022, which could have a great impact on the stock. Of course, it's not financial advice, guys. Do your own due diligence. But they only spent a million dollars. And as you can see here, they already had an estimated $15 million in annual revenue with a positive net income without Equestal's help. It's just fabulous news. The last release I want to discuss here is they're discussing the strategic investment interest and confirming anticipated acquisitions. So as you can see, they've been now in strategic negotiations with a notable investment firm to structure terms for a substantial investment that will both contribute to Equestal's qualification for uplisting to the national exchange. As you can see, it'll total over 50 million. But of course, say here, even as long, even as far along as we are in negotiations, there's no guaranteed investment agreement will come to fruition. But he says, my confidence level is finalizing, deal is high. I currently anticipate executing the agreement before the end of the year, but again, no deal is final until it is final. As you can see, he said he felt it was important to share this for two reasons. Because we are so far along in the negotiations, it's time to preview the potential of completing the transaction. Second, even if the deal does not come to fruition, the fact alone that Equestal has engaged in negotiations at all with an investment firm of this caliber and progressed to receiving a proposal of this magnitude serves as a validation of Equestal's overall credibility and structure as a business and ready for a national exchange uplisting. Now, this is substantial. It's big. He sounds extremely excited to share this news. If this happens, you could see a big rise in price. And the fact that they're looking for a NASDAQ uplisting in 2022. So, you know, as this gets more hype, of course, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own due diligence. I thank you all for watching this video. Hope you have a great day. Please like and subscribe for more content.